Hi, this Scorpio, you guys. Thank you all ever so much for joining me for your timeless love reading, volume eight. This time we're doing how uh, how do you feel about your person versus how they feel about you. So the first row will be representation of your feelings for your person. The second row is how do they feel about you. See if there's any mirroring energies. And also, above all, see how this row resonates with your feelings for your person. And if it does, that means this reading is for you. And by experiment, their reading should be of resonance to you too. So I'm just going to draw the cards on and see how do you feel about your person. You're in love with them. My beginning with a Cancerian. I'll be dealing with someone who's got blonde hair, uh, blue eyes, lighter complexion. Um, there could be a dynamic of you feeling like you are in a twin flame connection, especially if you're a female Scorpio watching this. You feel like you know your person is your divine counterpart, divine masculine. Uh, this could be an Aries. There could be this could be somebody older, but there could be another person in the picture, of course. There could be a woman of uh, black, brown hair, brown eyes, tan or darker complexion. Uh, it could be that also you can see yourself. Um, having a family with this person you may already have a family with this person you may have children with this person you can see yourself having children with this person you feel like this person is like the father figure the father figure to the children to your children you're hopeful for a chance for an opportunity you're hopeful to work things out with this person you may have met at work and you are very much seeking this proactive need to i'm sorry to chase this relationship to make it work you want some stable foundation with them you feel like, you know, this is it. This is like your person that you met. You have very, very high hopes for them. It's like you are, they are the dream come true. You want this commitment. You want to be in love. You're in love with love at the moment. You're happy uh, with the communications, potentially. You're happy how much um, time and effort they're putting in this connection. This is a person. If you see them as the emperor, this is the type of person who doesn't play mind games. This is the type of person who... When they want to call you or text you, they'll call you and text you. They're not going to wait until you text them. They're not going to be a princess if they're a man, especially waiting for you to make the first move and, and chase them. No, this person is the hunter-gatherer type and they will be the one to make all... This person's mature, basically. This person is mature. This is how you feel. This person knows what they're doing. This person knows what they want. And maybe this is something you appreciate about them because you're fed up of playing games. You're fed up of the mind games. You're fed up of the narcissistic behavior. You're fed up of cheating, lying, deception. This person, how they feel about you right now. There might be distance between the both of you. And maybe they're, they're going through a divorce or some type of life change. They may be moving at the moment. If this is about, yeah, this person is traveling. There is definitely some distance between the both of you. They sometimes feel like you don't understand things from their perspective for whatever reason this may be. They feel like you don't really resonate with their life situation at the moment. So it's like you feel you are very much invested into this. While I feel like this person is trying to figure out their life. They're trying to figure out the direction they need to go in. And also... At this moment in time, they're actually allowing things to develop naturally instead of forcing things. They're allowing things to develop naturally. But the thing is, I feel like you have no qualms about that because that's really working for you. Although they have patience and they're allowing things to develop naturally without chasing you, to you it feels like, you know, they're making all the right moves and the right effort, which again, can talk about this natural flow between the both of you, you know. If there is no need, if things go flawlessly and things are working out well for you, it means it's meant to be, right? If the energy between the two of you is not giving you stress, it's not giving you anxiety, it's not giving you blockages, it means it's working out, you know, with the temperance and the chariot, this could be talking about the fact that you and this person may have met between the last Sagittarius to Cancer season. So between November 21st, to July the 21st of 2023 to 2024 may have been the time that you guys have met. You stumbled upon this person, this person came into your life through some travel or holiday, or you just bumped into each other, there may again been distance between the both of you let me see how much okay you can see this properly so i'm just going to start clarifying these cards okay for you wow <laughs> how do they you see you've got mirroring energy right straight directionally beneath each other this person is in love with you this person is in love with you the way they see you again you might be a woman of blonde hair uh, blue eyes lighter complexion uh, you may have more water placements in your preliminary natal chart you may have uh and sun ascendant venus pisces you're very much in your emotions. This person feels like a very psychic, a very intuitive. You're very creative. You're very poetic. You're very healing. You bring them peace. You make them see things from a different perspective. You make this person see things for, for what they truly are. It's like you're their sanctuary. You bring them peace. I like that. I really like that. 
So, you know, the feelings are certainly reciprocated, Scorpio. You love them. They love you. You may be falling for them. They're falling for you. Depends on what stage you are in the relationship, of course. <clears throat> this person is appreciative of how much effort and time you've been giving into them. But sometimes they see you as someone very mysterious. You might be a psychic worker as well. You might be a tarot reader. might be an astrologer as the high priestess is coming up. Hello, if you are. Um, <laughs> you know, they kind of respect that. Maybe you somewhat spiritually help them develop into the person they are. Maybe you've done some readings for them before. Maybe they have paid for your services before. So see how that might resonate. Very interesting. Um but you know i feel like with that distance you've got is that the two of swords card yeah i feel like that distance between the both of you of this person lacking some type of direction or stability in their life is causing uh, a deviation in between them knowing what they really want or how to progress this connection because they don't have enough information at the moment i don't know let's say they're trying to sell a house and they live like a couple hours away from you and they don't know how long it's going to take take them to sell the house or how long the divorce proceedings are going to take right so see what applies to your situation or their situation in particular is like you have no qualms and then you've got the devil energy this person may have someone very manipulative around them unless this is talking about you and you having something someone very manipulative around you this person could secretly have some vices as well or maybe this person feels like sometimes you are obsessively spying on them possibility right um there could be some vices involved Let's clarify that they won't see why is it coming up. There could be a possibility that this person sometimes feels like you're really suppressing your emotions for them. You may, maybe sometimes they do feel like there is some type of emotional manipulation taking place here uh, through your communications with them. Maybe you try to somewhat emotionally blackmail them at time because you're, you want more of their time and you feel like maybe they're doing something behind your back. So see how that may resonate. This is what I'm picking up intuitively, right? I don't feel like it's a bad thing, but with that devil on the page of cups, you could also be talking about someone's over drinking problem because of course, again, the devil is temptations, is vices. And with that page of cups energy, with the high priestess next to him, maybe this person feels like you're concealing something if you are the type that you know likes to go out and have fun with your friends there is some fear within this person that you may be doing things you shouldn't be doing with other people giving too much of your time and hiding it to yourself to other people again This person really sees that you guys could have this very stable foundation. They feel like you may have a past life connection. Or it could be somebody from your past that you already have a family with. And they want to reconcile the differences. But maybe there's some issues from stemming from the past between you, right? Where someone was drinking too much at one point. Maybe that's why there was dissociation within the relationship, you know. Um, you have history. Whether it's past life history or whether there's actual history from this lifetime. I don't know. See how this may resonate with you. It could be, let's say your children's father your children's mother you guys had separated before they moved on moved the way you moved on moved the way and now you're sort of making your way back to each other especially during this mercury retrograde maybe in august 2024 there was this them randomly coming into your life there could be some drunken text sent to them and they recon you guys reconciled the difference is this person can really see decades long commitment with you without four ones and the ten of pentacles i love this for you this person is ready to commit you are already committed this person is very much ready to commit. They want to have this family legacy with you. The page of cups is here and the page of cups is here. Sometimes they may feel like you're trying to manipulate them through your children. Or there's some manipulation happening through children, right? I don't know why that's come up. Strength card. Might be dealing with a Leo, Scorpio. This person wants to hold it down. This person wants to hold it down with you. They have very lustful thoughts about you. The, I mean, like the sex the sex life's very good of course i'm sure because of course scorpio you're all the reproductive organs and you know what you're doing in the bedroom no doubt like you can be very intense and very kinky and they like that about you especially if they have this viral masculine energy about them you know they have a very high libido maybe the libidos are very matchy matchy as well which works in your favor for both like you know really connect on that sexual level intimacy level you know it just feels good all over This person wants um, to travel with you on a holiday maybe and explore some type of um, sexual arena with you. Let's say going to Amsterdam and seeing what's up there and having fun together, going to Germany, whatever, some type of place, maybe some type of sexual convention, swingers thing. I don't know what you guys are into. I don't know what that's coming up as well. Uh, this person feels like you really are very matching when it comes to sexual desires this is what's coming up to me again um but this person sometimes feels like you have too many options at hand and sometimes you can maybe be the type of person who only pursues ecstasy and thrills for your own attainment 
because with that seven of cups and the nine of cups said the ace of ace of ones and the chariot is like you know you give them such a good time and you're so experienced and you know how to please them but who else may you be pleasing on the side right with that seven of cups it could indicate multiple options if you're a scorpio um man watching this maybe your female counterpart feels like you know you're just dicking around and uh putting it in everyone's cup right so there is this insecurity a little bit there is definitely insecurity but i mean we all have insecurities right but you work through it this person wants to fight for this connection this person wants to make things work even if at times they feel like they're fighting uh they're beating a dead horse with you because scorpio you always have to be right it's your way or the highway at times but the problem is with the emperor it's their way and the highway too you both are very stubborn and very proud and this is something they want to work through with you at this given time right the sun another leo energy might, might have leo placements you might be dealing with this but this person's a leo this person can really see very clearly that over time things are becoming better and better between the both of you right they can see that things can only get better between the both of you and wow they do feel your soulmates because you've got the queen and the king of cups this person wants to work on this relationship look again you've got the two of cups energy they definitely feel like you have a very very uh innate soulmate connection here twin flame connection you know right uh, like you connect on the emotional level because you connect on a spiritual level emotional level um hold on let me just note this down and then uh we're looking to channel messages because i always forget the title and then i have to rewatch the whole video to gather it together that's uh it's quite deep i'm, I'm happy for you you know, this person is very much into you. This person is as much into you as you are in them. Of course, there are some fears, but let's see what the channel message is. I really want to tell Scorpio right now. What Scorpio's person wants to tell them? I am embarrassed by my actions. I feel disgusted with myself. Okay, maybe there is something that you have found out about them. They were working on another connection. Maybe you know about this, right? Because of that devil in the page of cups, or it could be his dead temptations gotten in the way. So it's, this will make sense to you. And if it doesn't, then uh, this message is not for you. But if, if something had happened and it had been a bit selfish or mis misbehaved, I feel detached. Um, I feel cold and detached from this connection. I can't feel emotions right now. Uh, this could be also at times it comes and goes is because this person drowns their sorrows into unhealthy coping mechanisms and then because they try to block this emotion out and then they come out they try to get sober they try to abstain from any temptations and they really feel that very deep connectedness with you i mean it's not all sunshines and rainbows but there's definitely a great depth of emotion for each other right that prevails all the troubles here I push you away because I do not want the responsibility. Maybe this is what happened between the both of you in the past. As we've mentioned, you know, this person, uh, you had a family, you had children before. See how that resonates again? And this person fled because they were scared. They didn't know how to handle all this. It was too much. Let's see what the outcome is between the both of you. And we'll cut this reading. Don't forget to like. If it resonated some part for you or the most part, don't forget to subscribe. Ooh, okay, you've got peace, balance, harmony, friendship, better off, happiness, clear headspace. Yeah, it's like you had to detach to attain peace so whatever's happening now this may be talking about the future so things will pick up your hopeful will pick up you want more communications you want to work on this right there's definitely communication incoming in a romantic manner which will get you a better perspective you'll be better off within this connection so this disconnect had to happen between the both of you to make you into better people for each other right oh scorpio look at that commitment how cute marriage promise fidelity this is what you both want right this is what you both want a couple more for you. What's coming up for Scorpio and that person as an outcome, please? Resistance, secret admirer, suppressing and timid. You may have a secret admirer. They may have a secret admirer around them. You may have a fellow water sign, Scorpio, um, who or, or Leo, Cancer Pisces. That may be in the background lurking as well. Epiphanies, understandings, awakening. There. This is a very eye-opening connection. Makes you see life from a different perspective for the both of you. And apology. So you're going to get an apology forgiveness return and sorry i feel like it's them they fucked up they know they fucked up they may have been doing things they shouldn't have been doing with temptations and they'll be back and they'll offer you apology and they'll offer you commitment take care and i'll scope you goodbye